This video is the second of three videos explaining the steps to take if you can't add your device in Biostar 1 or 2. Please watch our basic troubleshooting video before completing the steps in this one. This video covers adding version 2 devices. If you are using a version 1 device, please watch our video on version 1 devices. All Suprema readers are in DHCP mode out of the box. If your server and device are connected to the same DHCP-enabled switch, have the same subnet settings which they receive from your switch, and there are no firewalls or antivirus software blocking your connection, your new device will show up in Biostar. If your device is not new, and none of the steps in the first video worked, you will want to manually reset it. Instructions on how to manually reset your device can be found in this installation guide under the Resetting Network Settings section. After you've reset your device, it will go into DHCP mode. If your device is configured for DHCP, you will be able to add your device in Biostar since it will automatically get an IP in your server's network. However, if your switch is not configured for DHCP, you will have to add your device statically. First, connect your device to a laptop via Ethernet directly. You have the option to connect the laptop and your device to the same switch, but it is essential that the switch is connected only to a local network. On the laptop, search and select the control panel. Click Network and Internet. Click Network and Sharing Center, and then Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on the Ethernet or LAN adapter you are using, and select Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, and then Properties. Make sure that Obtain an IP address automatically is selected. Click OK. Click Close. To check that you can connect to your device, hold Windows plus R, type CMD, and click OK. Type IPconfig and hit Enter. Find the section called Ethernet Adapter or similar and take note of its IP. If the section says Media Disconnected, Check that you have connected your laptop to the switch or to the device properly. Next, type ARP-A and hit enter. You will see an interface with the IP you saw under the Ethernet adapter section. You should also see a device with an IP starting with 169.254 and a MAC address starting with 00-17-FC. This is your device. If you don't see it, Make sure you do one more UDP search in Biostar 1, or search device in Biostar 2. If you don't see this, make sure that your device is cabled correctly to your switch and or laptop, and that it has been reset. Once you have ensured that you are connected to your device, you can add it in Biostar. If you are using Biostar 2, skip to this timecode. If you are using Biostar 1.92 or higher, Run Biostar Server Config as an administrator. Start your server. The server IP should display your Ethernet adapter's IP. If it doesn't, make sure your Wi-Fi and any other LAN interfaces are turned off. Next, open the Biostar client. If you can't connect to the server, click Server Setting and enter the IP of the server. Log in with your credentials. Click on the Device tab. Select Add Device in the Task pane. Make sure LAN is selected and click Next. You can either select TCP and enter the IP of your device that you found in the command prompt and port 51211, or you can simply select UDP. Click Next. Once the search is complete, your device should appear. Click on it. Since your switch isn't configured for DHCP, select Not Use for the DHCP setting. You have to enter an IP address that isn't being used in your network, as well as the correct subnet and gateway for your main Biostar server. Next, select the checkbox next to your server and enter the IP address and port of your Biostar server. Click Modify. Click Yes. Now, when you connect your device to your switch, clicking the Refresh button in Biostar on your server should allow the device to appear if it hasn't already. If you are using Biostar 2, 
first run BioStar setting as an administrator. Make sure your Wi-Fi is turned off and any LAN adapters are disconnected, and then start the services. Next, open your browser and enter https colon slash slash 127.0.0.1. You may get a warning from your browser telling you that the connection is not safe. Proceed nonetheless. Log in with your credentials. Click on the device page and click search device. Your device will show up. Select it and click set IP. Since your switch isn't configured for DHCP, turn off the DHCP setting. You have to enter an IP address that isn't being used in your network, as well as the correct subnet and gateway for your main BioStar server. Next, Turn on the server setting and enter the IP address and port of your BioStar server. Click Apply. Now, when you connect your device to your switch, you can find your device in the waiting device list. Right click on it and add it. Click OK. For more help, please visit support.bioconnect.com and check out our other videos.